There are many brilliant strategies available to help make your business dreams become a reality. But you need to create the proper mental foundation to make this possible. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter. Do you know where your business will be in the future? It depends greatly on the books you read, the people you associate with, and the actions you take. Here's why. The information and knowledge you gain from the right materials will greatly influence your understanding and decision making. The people you choose to associate with and those who hold you accountable to your goals will ultimately play a key role in shaping your actions. The actions you take will determine where your business goes. Choose well in all three areas because your success depends on it. Now, if it's a little unclear as to how critical this is, let's first consider the odds of any business succeeding in today's markets. Over a million people start a business of some sort every year. Roughly 40% will be out of business in the first year. Within five years, another 80% will be gone and 80% more will fail in the next five years. It doesn't look like the odds are in your favor, does it? If you're unsure of how you're doing and what the prospects might be for your company's success, it's absolutely critical that you clear up this mystery. As the business failure data suggests, what you're learning and what you're doing with what you learn is critical and will clearly spell the difference between ultimately succeeding or joining the rapidly growing crowd of failing businesses. Now, the reasons for failure are many, but number one on the list is business burnout. In a moment, we will take a look at some of the contributing reasons, but before we do that, there's something else I want you to consider. Industry expert Tom Peters stated that there's less than a 5% chance that the change you need will come from inside your organization. And while lecturing at MIT in May of 2011, Ricardo Semler, the CEO of Semco, shared with university students that the odds of needed changes coming from inside your company are at 3%. These comments come from well-respected business leaders, and regardless of which percentage you'd say is more precise, we have to agree that they're equally low. This points to a clear likelihood that the ideas needed for your success, the education and knowledge base required, and advice or coaching you will need will come from an outside source of your business. The key question is, do you have any idea if you're exposing yourself to the right information base? Are you taking the right actions in your company? Are you tracking the right things? And are you allowing the right people to influence your business? Do you have all the ingredients necessary for the success recipe that leads your business to a known outcome? If the answer to any of these questions is no, or if you're somewhat unsure, join me on the next video as we explore some of the contributors to business failure and how you can avoid them. I'm Kevin Hunter. Thanks for listening.